Hello, hello, it is time for a tag. This one is the My Ideal Bookshelves tag. It was created by Kim over at the channel Bookmarks and Breadsticks, so I will of course link that original video down in the description. Do go and give it a little watch. And I saw this first, I think, on Jessie's channel, Jessie from The Bookish Mum, and I think I also saw it on Ola from The Reading Witches channel and Joanna from the channel Joanna Sosa's channel. I'm pretty sure. I could be making that up, but I think that's right. Fingers crossed. And yeah, I thought it was really fun, so I wanted to do it, and I think Joanna did tag me, so yay. Okay, so I do not remember the questions and I haven't prepared any of these answers, so we're gonna see, we're gonna see how this is gonna go. What, what is, what is ha what is this? What is happening? Oh man, my hair is so weird at the moment. Oh, it's fine, we're gonna ignore it. Uh, right, so question number one is, oh, I'm slouching, I need to move the camera. Oh man, I'm so unprofessional today whatever. So, the first book you remember reading as a child. See, I remember reading various books at around the same time, but I don't necessarily remember which one was first. I think probably the first book I read was Winnie the Pooh by A. A. Milne. I want to say, I think. Although before before that, I, my sister and I used to listen to these audiobooks of like traditional fables and fairy tales and things like The Emperor's New Clothes, The Little Matchstick Girl, Goose with the Golden Egg, that kind of thing. So, I mean, probably those were the first books I read, but honestly I cannot remember. I cannot remember which which was the first book that I read. Reading has always been a part of my life, so I don't I don't know. A book I received as a gift, birthday holiday gift, etc., that I still own today. Tons. Really don't unhaul books. And if I do unhaul books, I certainly don't unhaul gifts, so Every book I've ever been gifted, I still have somewhere. Winnie the Pooh, that I just mentioned just now, is probably the oldest book on my shelves that was a gift. As in, it was gifted to me the longest ago, because I think that was gifted to me Christmas 1992, and I was born in March of 91. So I was like nearly two years old. So I think probably that one, but like, more recently, Joanna gifted me The Humans by Matt Haig for my birthday. I was gifted the leather-bound edition of Elantris for Christmas by my parents. So just tons, 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 tons of answers to that question. Number three, a book that was important to your teenage years. Ah, uh, hmm, interesting. Important to my teenage years. Well, I feel like the books that I kind of read and reread and reread the most in my younger teenage years, like 13, 14, was the Mediator series by Meg Cabot. So those really stick out in my mind. But I feel like the first truly epic fantasy series that I read was the Symphony of Ages series by Elizabeth Hayden. So I feel like those were really important as well because clearly I love epic fantasy and I'm pretty sure that was the first epic fantasy series that I ever read. I mean I'd read The Hobbit which clearly is epic fantasy as well but that one is a children's book and The Symphony of Ages is adult so I feel like that's probably the most important in terms of like the impact that it's had on my reading tastes throughout my life. So, number four, a book that you can always go back to. Well, Joanna and I are rereading the Hunger Games trilogy 
this month so uh, that's definitely an answer to this question also anything by Brandon Sanderson I feel like I will always go back to those books I also really love the Chronicles of Ixia series by Maria V Schneider and I feel like I could reread those forever as well so I mean I don't know if I'm supposed to be giving one answer to these questions because clearly I'm not doing that a book that brings you a feeling of wonder that's cute I like that question uh so because I can't I can't just pick one <laughs> of course uh The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Clune because it's just so precious I just love it and then also the Keeper of the Lost Cities series by Shannon Messenger I feel like there's just so much to that series there's so much going on there's so many mystery plot lines there's loads of friendship there's magic hidden realms there, there's just so much to that series that definitely gives me that sense of wonder for sure number seven the book you've reread the most or love the most well as i mentioned i have reread the hunger games quite a lot of times i don't know if i maybe have reread the mediator series more times because i read them like quite a lot when I was younger so I, I can't remember how many times I reread that series but in terms of books that I've read and reread the most times in kind of my adult life I would say probably probably The Hunger Games would be up there. A book you want to have on your shelves forever. Uh, my leather bound Brandon Sanderson books to be honest because they're beautiful and just just I just want to look at them forever they're, they're just so gorgeous with the leather and the foiling and the gilded edges and the ribbon bookmarks and the illustrations it's just mm, beautiful beautiful but if I talk about a recent book that I have just a standard edition for and honestly I've only read it once I already want some kind of special edition for it I don't know why I haven't already looked into this I need to do that maybe I'll do that after this is Jonathan Strange and Mr Norell by Susanna Clarke loved that book so yeah I guess those a book on your shelf you want everyone to read oh that's tricky what book do I want everyone to read this is tricky because I would want to pick something that I feel like a lot of people would actually enjoy because like, I don't want to make people read a book that they don't like you know so hmm interesting interesting question interesting question let me look at some of the books that I have read recently and see if I can pick something. Oh, okay, I think I know what I'm going to go for. Well, I'm going to go for two because we have to keep on brand for this video. So the first one that I'm going to say is Game Changer by Neil Shusterman, which is his most recent release. It's a, it's a sci-fi contemporary story, I guess guess if you had to put it in a genre it's a little bit difficult but it's, it's about this guy who ends up traveling to parallel universes where things are just very slightly different but those small differences are having a big impact and I just think it's really really clever I feel like there's so much to learn from the book and it's also just a really enjoyable easy fun read so I'd say that one and then I would also say Once Upon an Eid by Aisha Saeed and SKR Lee I think are the editors of that one yeah SKR Lee and Aisha Saeed um, Aisha Saeed and it's a collection of short stories so I feel like it's a good good option for lots of people because you can break it up even if you don't like reading 
lots of big books and it's just lots of stories about Eid and it's so wholesome and sweet and again I feel like there's lots of to learn from it and it's just a wonderful book. And then uh, the last question is a book that reminds you of a specific moment or period of time in your life and I think for this I'm going to say uh, The Black Magician trilogy by Trudy Canavan because I, this is funny, so I was reading that series when I started university. So I was a fresher and I was, I think I was like halfway through book one when I started uni. And then I just got completely distracted by uni and basically DNF'd it and I didn't finish it, but I was enjoying it. I just didn't, I didn't have time anymore because I was doing so much like uni work and getting involved in the social lifestyle of uni and all that kind of thing. So I DNF'd it. And then once I finished my uni degree, it was actually the first series that I picked back up, or at least I think so. I might have read The Hunger Games first. I don't know, either way, I distinctly remember picking that series back up and absolutely loving it. I just, I enjoyed that series so much. Now, I reread it last year, maybe, or maybe the year before. Recently, I reread it recently, and I didn't enjoy it as much on reread as I did when I read it originally at the end of uni. But I don't know, it's just something I'm always going to associate that book with both starting and finishing university which was you know a really exciting time of my life so yeah I think I think that one sticks in my mind for, for that reason but there are so many books that I associate with various periods of time in my life like the uh, the, the Symphony of Ages series by Elizabeth Hayden which I read when I was about 16 and I remember listening to Avril Lavigne and reading this book and going to dancing, I remember that. I remember uh, when I was in year five, so I would have been about nine, eight or nine, and my teacher wouldn't let me read books with words in. You had these boxes and each week you had to take a book from the box and each box was by reading level and you'd have to read it and fill in your reading journal and bring it in and then you could have another one and my teacher would never let me have books with words in. She thought that I could only handle picture books and I got really frustrated with that because clearly I could read. Uh, <laughs> I think, yeah, I, I don't know, I mean, I was really bad at spelling so I guess it makes sense that the natural solution to that problem would be to read less rather than more but oh well. So I I picked up the scariest book on my mum's bookshelf that I could find which happened to be The Hobbit by Tolkien. It was like a, a mass market paperback edition which is why it looks scary and it was really beaten up and old and I read that and then I took it in and showed it to my teacher and said you know I've read this now can I have some books with words in so I remember that. I remember going through a period of time in secondary school where I just read mystery crime thrillers back to back to back to back to back. Yeah so many so many books remind me of so many periods of time because I've just I've always been a reader as long as I can remember I've been a reader and I haven't ever been as voracious a reader as I am right now but I've still always loved reading so yeah there's there's loads of books that I could talk about there and that's why I wanted to do this video. I've had a fun time answering these questions and the the very last thing to do is to tag people which is tricky because I don't know who hasn't done this yet but I'm going to tag Shannon from 155 books, I'm going to tag Henry from Henry the Writer although I don't think he's made any videos for a while, I'm going to tag Abby from Abby Salter and I'm going to tag Angela from Literature Science Alliance and if you're watching this and you want to do this tag then consider yourself tagged 
as well. Uh, don't forget to check out Pondful Books in the description and that's it for this one. Thank you so so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more like this from me then do think about hitting that subscribe button and I hope to see you here again soon. Thanks! Bye!